What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Little Garage. On uh, this week's episode we'll be working on the Gia a little bit, uh, doing some more body work on the bug, uh, making it look a whole lot better than it was, and hope you guys enjoy. So now that I got the tablet mounted in the dash, this is the uh, the wire that comes off of the computer. So I'm going to be putting an extension on this and then running it up into the dash so then I don't ever have to pull it out and it'll be there when I need it. Uh, also going to be running a, a power cable from a cigarette lighter over to it so then it constantly has power too. Uh, there's a couple other things that I have to change since the since the the tablet goes right there in the dash. I'm going to move the gauges from the center of the dash over and I am going to get rid of that and that is the vacuum line and the boost gauge. I'm going to be moving those directly to the manifold. That way I have direct, direct correct pressure uh, for that and then I'm also going to move the fuel pressure regulator over to that as well so we'll get those changed over move the gauges uh, get the tablet stuff all wired in together and then uh, should be looking pretty good so I got that pulled out got it going directly from the blow off valve to the intake manifold now. Uh, so I'm going to pull the line for the boost gauge back and it'll plug into one of these ports here that's on the back of the intake manifold. And then the fuel pressure is that line right there. And that tees in over here right now, but I'm gonna move it up into the intake manifold port. That way it's for sure getting the correct, correct amount of fuel pressure for the motor. So then hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to uh, tune and get everything situated. So I'm going to buy parts tomorrow and uh, We'll get those things knocked out and continue tuning this thing. It's a little bit hard to see, but I have the computer cable running up to here. So I'm going to drill a hole up top and then uh, run it to where it needs to go. And then we'll get that plugged in and I have one more wire to run and all the rest of this is looking pretty good. I have to tighten down the dash mount a little bit. And then uh, that should be ready to rock as well. the gauges moved over uh, I got air fuel boost oil pressure and then down there I'm going to put in my water temp uh, I got my wires plugged in for the computer so that connects directly to my ECU so I can actually tune directly from this uh, as I'm driving, get all that situated. Um, another thing is, I have my power wire here. I always run a cigarette lighter in all of my cars in the glove box. That way I have them. Uh, that way I can charge things and 
just have that extra little outlet to do whatever I need with it. So the gear is looking ready to roll. Uh, Got to fix one brake light; it's not working, and and that's it. So we'll hop back on the bug here in a minute and continue on with that. Real quick, since I everybody's been asking me about this, uh, everybody thinks this is an app. It is uh, definitely not an app. This is actually my entire tuning. So I can go in as I'm driving. And check my AFR tables, I can check my timing tables, change the fuel, I can pretty much change anything that I want with this. Uh, and it's all right here in the dash, which is kind of nice. And then if I double tap it, uh, it does full screen, so it has all, pretty much any dash that I want, I can set up my own my own gauges and all that fun stuff so I can actually see exactly you know what degree my timing is how open my throttle is what my air fuel uh, I kinda really like the the net power and I have a net torque too so it'll actually give me real time what kind of power that I'm running it's, of course it's not gonna be a hundred percent accurate but it'll actually give me somewhat of an idea on what I'm running, so it's pretty cool. So back to the bug. I got this piece cut out and cleaned up. So I'm gonna weld that in real quick and then weld up a couple of these little holes and the body holes. Still haven't picked up sandpaper and Bondo yet, but I will get there. guys didn't notice that all of my bolts are stainless and allen head throughout the entire car all of them so these are the old busted door bolts uh, those will get thrown away and get replaced with these guys so just about every single bolt on this car is all stainless and allen head so it makes it nice and easy um, that way I can carry a small kit of Allen wrenches and be able to tighten everything on this car and I don't have to lug around a whole bunch of different tools to change stuff out.
guys, so that's all I have for you this week. Uh, we're gonna continue pushing on the bug. Uh, I'm gonna tune the gear a little bit more, hopefully have it driving by next week. Uh, we'll be taking it to a, its first car show, hopefully at the end of the month. We'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on that, maybe make a video on it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.